Dr. Alviar, back in the U.S., operating at Harrisburg Hospital, fixing a little boy with a hernia. I feel at home here. <laughs> Quite different from the third world. In Honduras, the rooms were small, equipment was outdated, and they were running out of room. When you have three babies in one bed, or or they're all close together, there are not enough nurses to take care of the sick babies or sick patients. And, and if you see the emergency room where, where the moms have to uh, ventilate their babies. Images like this don't exist here. I think that we here in the United States are, are just extremely lucky to have all the resources that we have. Here, rooms are filled with the best equipment. Even rubber gloves can be a luxury. There are hospitals that don't have enough resources where they actually take the surgical gloves, they wash them, disinfect them, and repackage them so that they can utilize them for other surgeries because the hospitals just can't afford to buy gloves, which we throw out here like, you know, it's nothing. Dr. Albiar making rounds, checking on his patients. Just want to show you how, how good he looks, uh, and he's ready to go home. And like there, they're still in pain and have all kinds of problems, and the usual, they stay for three or four days or longer. But here, we can, they, can, they can go home in about 12 hours. In the recovery room, his hernia patient is already being comforted by his mother. It made me nervous, <laughs> but I know it would be okay, so. The recovery room here is quiet because here, the patients get pain medicine, something they can't always afford in Honduras. That would be awful. That's why Dr. Alviar started the World Surgical Foundation. But why do they focus their attention outside the country? The same laws that protect us here in the U.S. can also get in the way. Yes, there are state mandates in legislature that um, prohibit us from going to practice medicine in another state. Just to give you an example, in Katrina, if you were a doctor and you tried to volunteer your services there, uh, you, you can only mop the floor. You can't really take care of patients because, because if you try to take care of patients, and you are from another state and you don't have a license in that state, you can be liable for anything. It's a shame. Dr. Alviar will be 70 years old soon and is close to retiring. So what's next for the World Surgical Foundation and the people around the world that rely on their help? And we don't know where we're going from here. And I'm hoping that many people will recognize what we do and then they'll continue on with the project. We're making an impact on the world, and we need to have more of this. Dr. Alviar also performs dozens of free surgeries right here in the U.S. every year. But he, along with the nurses and doctors that travel along with him, well, it's clear that they have a heart for those around the world. The next stop for the World Surgical Foundation, India. They will be leaving in January. For ABC 27 News, I'm Kendra Nichols.